Hi guys and welcome to our channel and we are here to do unboxing of this Instant Pot Duo Crisp plus air fryer. So it means this is a pressure cooker and they included this um, air fryer lid uh, that makes it an air fryer machine also. Let's start by opening this box. Oh, that's a knife. Okay, so what's inside is this um, protective pad and storage cover. Inside you will also find this dehydrating tray or broil tray. I think this will make your, your food closer to the lid if you will uh, put it inside the air fryer basket. And then manual. Let's see. Yep, here is the lid. If you want to check your food, you can place it here to protect your counter because this one is the heating element. Though it will not actually heat your counter right away because there's this this uh, small leg. I don't know what they call this, but this will also prevent it from heating. I mean, touching the, the counter. But still, there's a, a high temperature here, so. Well, something like this and this can also be a nice storage cover for your air fryer lid let me check first let's do it upside down and let's see and you, know, you can do this when this is not hot all right so there's three holes here those are the three holes that you should align here and those three so you can see the shape and there's be like this and then just twist it right so it's clockwise and it's locked so that's how you will use this as a storage cover line it like that one here and put it clockwise So it's hard when it's if you're doing it like this one. After you clean this, you can put it upside down and just align. So that's one is easier. And then you can set this aside. And this one is the actual Instapot. Good size for a family of four. We got only two adults here and two kids five year old and and two this is a six quart so it says here 11 in ones it has a pressure cook so taste low cook steam and sous vide sous vide is like a I think it's like a slow cook or low temperature maintained so maybe around 200 or lower for the air fryer attachment it has air fry option here um roast bake broil and dehydrate so i think dehydrate is also can be used for like beef jerky or dehydrating your fruits i think i saw some camping guides on how to to prepare food you can dehydrate your food and then once you're in the campground you can just put water something like maybe spaghetti or noodles and then just put hot water and it's it's good there's a delay start, cancel, start, and keep warm. So once cooking is done, it will stay keep warm for maybe one hour. So it says 11 in 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. I don't know what's the 11th. Maybe the delay start. Here is the cover for the pressure cook. Cost. Remove this paper or this tag. It says here quick release button. So once you're done, you can press this so it means the the pressure will go out from here so once you press it like that and then when you're done just press it up push it up and it will go down again another one is the air fryer basket and this is the base and there's another reminder here obviously the packaging warning stickers remove all packaging materials of course and there is this uh 
multi-purpose rack and this one can be used as a holder but since this is tight you still need pot holder this one is the inner pot stainless steel this along is a PC max as a pressure cook max so you can only put maybe liquid or something here on that level only and then also inside don't forget to remove this one and it's also a warning it says do not leave food or foreign objects on the heating element always ensure the heating element is free from grease and debris before cooking always use authorized instapot stainless steel inner pots for cooking and then this is where your steam will go you can also take it off it's from here okay so you can see when you put it like this you should align it from here and if you can see but there's an alignment again so what's inside is the multi-purpose rack the the inner pot the pressure cooker lid the insta pot itself the air fryer basket and the air fryer basket lid so what the this one does is make it a little bit higher so that this this air fryer lid will emit heat here and also like a fan or blower which circulates the air so it needs some air going underneath you will cook your food also at the bottom this is the air fryer lid no cable for here it will be attached through here so the connection of the power is through here here okay and the protective pad so yeah this is this is good enough for a for family member this is our first instapot and luckily it has this air fryer lid so we don't need to buy air fryer separately in this box you will see uh, there's a QR code it says here free instapot app where you can download 1000 recipes so just scan this on uh, and then you download the apps so there's a lot of recipe there I'll do it later so prior to using this one you have to wash this lid and the basket also with um, soap and water always use the inner pot be it um, using for pressure cooking or air fryer and this rack can be used for pressure cooking a whole chicken or let's say vegetables just place it inside and once you're done you can pull it from the side of course you need a pot holder we will now do a first test run we need a five cups of water these are the options for the air fryer lid for example you want to use the air fryer but you did not use the correct lid it will show lid in the LCD now you have to choose the pressure cook and set for five minutes only for initial run it will take time for the pressure to build and once it reached the pressure it will start the timer while waiting for the time let's do some measurement the height is 13 inches including the lid while the length including the handle is around 13 inches the air fryer lid is 5.5 inches so the air fryer plus the height of the instapot is 14.5 inches there is a cooking time suggestion in the manual the timer is done we just have to press the pressure release so right now it's in the keep warm status we already have one minute pass now the pressure is released you can turn the lid counterclockwise to remove it next will be the air fryer we have to drain the water first and then we have to put back this inner pot So I found this in the fridge, the french fries, and a meatball. We will do some experiment. 
We will cook two foods at the same time. First, put these meatballs inside. Then I will use this broil tray where I will put the french fries. Then put the air fryer basket inside. Then use the air fryer lid. Select the air fryer in the option and set to 12 minutes. And then select start. It's not that loud so it's okay. It will have a preheat mode and then once it reaches the correct temperature the timer will start. Now we're in the half time of 12 minutes so let's check. Since it's close to the air fry lid it cooked faster and let's now check the meatballs underneath and I have to use this chopstick to remove this though I cook them straight from the freezer they cook fast within six minutes and here you can see the meatballs are soft and juicy Since we know that it is already cooked, we can cancel the remaining time. As I've said earlier, we will try to fit some lid. This old lid that I have doesn't fit. While I have this lid from IKEA which fit perfectly and this can be used whenever you want to cook something where you don't use the pressure cooker. This lid is light and easier to clean and it may prolong the life of the silicone on your pressure cooker lid. Once the heating element is cold, you can wipe it with damp cloth or paper towel. So that's it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and press that notification button.